Welcome back to the channel. I just got off a Zoom meeting with my daughter. We talk all the time on my Chromebook where I use Zoom to stay in touch. I also use WhatsApp and a whole host of different services that allow free communication with all my family who happen to be all over the world. Only on my Chromebook and it's so easy to do. Today, I've got five essential Chromebook features that seniors should be using. I'm Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, where we help seniors understand technology and help them with their Chromebooks. Today, I've uh, got five essential features that you might find interesting. So let's get on with it, and I'll meet you at the end of the video. All right, before we get started, I'd just like to introduce you to my ASUS Chromebook Flip CM34. Now, as we look at the screen, I just want to show you that you can customize the screen's wallpaper. So if I make a right click and we set the wallpaper style, you can see that we have lots of choice here. Uh, you can actually have Google Photos as your background, or you can choose uh, your images, or you can choose images to be made, and there's lots here for you. And you can choose this so that they dynamically will change each day. Lots of choice. But that's just simply by right-clicking on your mouse and set wallpaper. It's so simple. That's what Chromebooks are. Simple. So let's get to busy and talk about the simple and safe interface. Let's start with what makes Chromebooks great for seniors. The simple and safe interface. When you power on a Chromebook, it starts up in a few seconds. There's no long loading screens, just a clean desktop with an easy to use layout. Now, as you see on our screen today, there's nothing on the screen, not cluttered up with all that stuff you see on a Windows machine. You'll notice that there's no unnecessary icons, just a shelf along the bottom. We call this a shelf. And this is and this is where you post most of the apps that you're going to use. And you'll see these are the apps that at the bottom on the shelf that I have uh, that I use mostly here. And you'll see this is Google News. This is ChatGPT. If I click on this, it brings up ChatGPT. And you'll have uh, you can put all your icons on the bottom here. Now let's talk about the everything button. It's need to find something, just press the everything button. It's the magnifying glass key on the left side of the keyboard. Type in what you're looking for, like email, photos, or even just a question. It'll show you the results instantly. It's like having your own personal search helper built in. So let's type in photos. And we'll just bring up Google Photos. So easy. All just done with the everything button that's on the left side of your keyboard. Worried about updates? Don't be. Chromebooks update automatically. Let's have a look. We'll just click the tray system tray here. We're going to uh, bring up settings. We'll come down about Chrome OS. And here at Art, this tells me the version of Chrome OS that I'm using. Well, let's check for updates. And it says your Chromebook is up to date. Each update keeps your Chromebook running safely and smoothly without you having to do anything. And you know, the great thing about this is it'll never bother you. It happens magically at night when you turn your computer off and go to bed. The gremlins at night make the update happen and when you start your machine up in the morning it's freshly updated no more interruptions in the middle of presentations requesting updates to different systems chromebooks are so simple and you don't need any security software all the security software is all built into the operating system no need for malware or antivirus software. It's all built in 
for you. And when it comes to security, Chromebooks are built in with protection in mind. Each browser tab runs in a protected area called a sandbox. So if you click on something suspicious, it won't harm the rest of your computer. Plus, you don't need to buy or install any antivirus software. It's built in. Now, here's a little bonus tip. You can make your screen easier on the eyes. Let's turn on night mode. As you can see, we are in the device management. And let's look at the display settings. If we come down here, you'll see it says night light. If we turn this on, you see how the screen gets darker. This is called night light. And you can certainly um, set this to come on automatically. Now let's talk about something I'm so excited about. And this is, of course, Google Assistant on a Chromebook that just makes things so easy. But it even is better because Google Assistant on a Chromebook has now been replaced with Gemini, which of course is AI. Yes, if you have a more recent Chromebook, it should have Gemini installed on it. Let's have a look and see where we might find that. If we come along here on our launch, um, on our shelf, you'll come over to our launcher. Let's click this and let's see. Ah, here is Gemini. You see this little button here? This is uh, should be on your computer or you can download this from the Play Store. Now, I've uh, just dragged it down onto my shelf here and you'll see it at the bottom. So let's, uh, let's open this up and let's get Gemini loaded up and here we are. It's all loaded up. You can also use ChatGPT, but Gemini, of course, is Google, and it's uh, part of the operating system. So we can ask it anything we want. Um, it's great. We can do voice commands for reminders, weather dictation, great for hands-free uh, help, no typing required. Use this for setting timers or asking what's on my calendar today. It's so easy to use. Let's ask it what the weather is going to be tomorrow. I'm just going to click on this little re record button here. What's the weather tomorrow in Comox, British Columbia? Check my email for any new messages. Chromebooks are built for everyone, and that means they come with a powerful set of accessibility tools to make using the device easier and more comfortable, especially for seniors. Let's have a look at some of these settings. So we're going to come down on our Chromebook here, and we're going to come to settings, and we'll come down to accessibility. See here, it's on the left side here, and let's have a look at uh, display text. So here we are um, in device display and we're going to uh, come over to uh, display and then we're going to come down to text size. And it's so easy. All that you have to do to change the size of the text that you want to see displayed because you may have some problems with your vision. You just slide this little bar across here. We can start with small all the way up to very large. And uh, you'll see that this changes the size of the text. So easy to do on a Chromebook. All right, let's look at the um, text to speech. This again is found in accessibility. And you come up here. And the first one I want you to look at is a software that's it, that is comes with your Chromebook and is a part of the OS. It's called Chromevox. And you can hear spoken feedback so you can use your device without looking at the screen. This is where the software will read to you what's ever on the screen. And this is, uh, you can turn this on if you were severely visually impaired. Whatever would on your screen would of course would be just read back to you. We also have coming down here, you have select to speak. 
This is where you could take selected passages on the screen, highlight it, and it would read that back to you. So you either can have sort of the full meal deal with Chromevox, or you can select what you want and have it read it back to you. Now, to customize the settings, you just click here, and this opens up uh, another screen. And very easily, you can select... Um, there's a number of settings that make this possible, and it's so simple and easy to do. So give this a try. This is really a lot of fun. Now in the display and magnification setting, we can set it to zoom your screen to zoom in and make things look a lot bigger. You can do this with the key command, control plus M. This turns on and off your full screen magnifier. So, you know, if you see some tiny print, control M, and it just brings it up, and you'll be able to see it. Let's see if we can have a look here. See how it looks now as it zooms in, and we can zoom out again. So this is the full screen magnifier. You can turn that on, or of course you can have uh, a docked magnifier, and you can use a split screen view to see the magnified area of your screen such as this. So it shows you the, and we can of course change this and we can move this down, make it bigger or smaller. Now let's look at the cursor and touchpad settings. Suppose we want to make our mouse cursor a little bit bigger. Hey, watch this. This is how easy it is. Let's watch the size of my arrow change as I move the slider up and down. So if you want to change this, so easy. That's what a Chromebook is, easy. All right, let's talk about safe browsing with Chrome. Now, Chrome is built into the operating system on a Chromebook. You can use any browser you want. These are apps that, of course, would be installed, and you can certainly use them. But Chrome is built in and is integrated into the operating system to keep you very safe. When your online safety matters, especially for seniors who might be new to the internet or cautious about scams, that's where Chrome, the built-in browser built into every Chromebook, really shines. It's designed with safe browsing tools to, keep, to protect you while you explore the web. Um, let's come up to this site. I'm on a CIBC. This is a credit card site. We'll come up here and you'll see this little, um, this little circle here with some arrows in it. We're going to click this and you'll see that Chrome tells you that the connection is secure. Um, it tells you that pop-up and redirects are available. Automatic downloads. These are permissions that you've set. Cookies and data, we can see what the what it is all about. You can manage that. And it tells you all about the, the uh, this page, which of course is the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. So this is uh, some information here that you'll find in your Chrome browser. If you accidentally click a bad link or open a fake website, Chrome will warn you immediately with a big red alert screen that tells you not to proceed. This built-in feature is called safe browsing and it blocks dangerous sites before they can do any harm. Now, if we come into the uh, privacy and security settings of your Chrome browser, we can come down to security. And when we click this, there's an option for very safe browsing. And this is called enhanced protection on a Chromebook. And I would encourage you to turn this on. You can see I have mine turned on, and this warns about dangerous sites, scans for suspicious downloads, and uh, gives you advanced protection while using your browser, of course, on your Chromebook. Again, all occurs behind the scene, making this very easy for you. So let's look now at the easy access to apps and video calls. 
if we look at the screen, we see that we can easily make a Zoom call and WhatsApp. All these will allow you to make video calls and stay communicating with your family. Five features you should be using on your Chromebook. I'm Ron Brown. This is Tech for Senior. Hopefully you've enjoyed that video and we'd sure appreciate that like and subscribe. But before you go, I have made another video. If you are wondering if you should buy a Chromebook or an iPad, I've got the video for you. I'll put the link up here or it'll be in the description. Very popular one I made a couple of months ago and it'll help you make your decision. Before you leave, um, we have a lot of people watching our videos at Tech for Senior. We are an entirely volunteer organization and we do rely on you subscribing. So we sure appreciate that if you could subscribe to the channel and also click that like and we'll notify you when we make our next video. Have a great day. Thank you.